afternoon folks and welcome back for another quick video on the latest project. Well, we're out in the back garden and as you can see we have four posts and you might be asking what am I doing with four posts? Ah well the latest little thing that we're going to be doing or trying to do is a phased vertical array a four square for the 40 meter band. So this is the beginnings of the project. I've just got four the, the four uh, wooden gate posts in and uh, I've been spending a bit of time in this in the sunshine on this glorious day which we don't have too many of around here putting down a few radials which are required for this type of antenna. So I suppose you're probably asking why have four verticals instead of just one, when one might work equally as well. Well, there's quite a bit of logic in that, and uh, what we'll do is I'll show you. So the whole idea of a four square is that basically you feed four vertical antennas, which are arranged symmetrically in a square. The clue is in the title, as they say. And the whole idea is that they're fed at different phases. So the signal that is transmitted and the signal that is received augment each other so that you get forward gain and you get directivity. And the big advantage of this setup is that you can switch it to any direction. So the maximum field strength is usually along the diagonals of the square and you can basically switch that from the shack and you can switch in any direction and transmit in any direction and the other advantage obviously because it's a vertical or because they are the, they are vertical is that you get a low angle of radiation which is supposed to be very good for dx work or long distance work so lucky i had a bit of space at the back here so and which wasn't really being used for anything so i thought well i'm not going to plant any trees here or anything like that perfect opportunity to put up an aerial. Anyway, let's show you what we've got here. As I said, this is really the bare bones of it. So each of these posters at the moment is, more, is identical. I've done three out of the four of them. I've been laying radials. So at the base of each post, we've got an aluminium plate. This is six mil aluminium. I've just cut it out to the dimensions of that post and drilled a few holes, threaded them with M5 threads, and then we've got two radial wires coming off from each position. The whole idea is just try and get them arranged like the wheels of a spoke, as you can see. This is the big bugbear of building vertical antennas, is putting the radials in, because they don't really work properly unless you do this, and it's, uh, it's fairly labor intensive. So I've got all my radials and they're disappearing off over there into the centre. And what, what they recommend, if I can find it, follow this radial. Ah, oh, where is it? Ah, here we go. So if we look down here, there's a big copper, well, a slightly larger copper piece of enamelled copper. So four mil, I think it is, three or four mil copper. And what we're going to do is we're going to solder all these, ra well, the radials that meet in the middle will solder onto this, uh, what they call it, so that basically it's a copper bus bar. It's like a big cross in the middle of the, uh, the middle of the four square. That's the middle of the square there. And in the middle here, where we put the, we'll be putting the phasing box, which is some electronics, which I'll show you a bit later, well, when I've built it. Um, this will be in the sort of a part, second part of this video. So this is one of the other posts. That I, this is this one I haven't started putting the radials on. But uh, again, just simple aluminium plate to attach the radials on. And these posts, it's back-breaking work if you have to dig the hole yourself because these po posts are sunk in at about a meter. Luckily, I've got that old cranky digger which still works, which has certainly been a, a help for all this. 
You might ask what sort of wire do you use for putting in radials? Well, you can use just about anything really, but uh, I imagine the problem is with wire is that obviously if you buy it, it costs, it's, it's, it is expensive. Anything with copper in it these days is quite pricey. But what I've got here is uh, stuff I'm using is what's called D10, which is um, a military uh, telegraph wire and it comes in a twisted pair. Uh, so you have to untwist it and it's got, basically the core consists of steel and uh, copper. It's quite easy to solder. Uh, but it is very twisty, but it's strong and it, and this stuff usually lasts forever. Uh, I managed to get about 400 meters of this uh, off eBay for about 30 quid, which I thought was not too bad. So we've got loads of this stuff lined up. I've still got, I'm still busy with that post. And uh, once we get all the radials in, we'll then start the next phase which will be building up the antennas. I'm actually going to be using fiberglass masks for this. I mean you can use aluminium but again it just increases the cost of the project. I mean uh, four aluminium uh, 10 meter posts or masts or whatever you know that's going to set you back quite a bit of money so I'm, got, I'm going for fiberglass uh, poles uh, which, which actually I ordered from spider beam and uh, they do quite a nice uh, 10 metre uh, pole, which hopefully um, will be suitable for this. So it's still quite a lot of way to go on this project. Um, I hope we can give you some views of the WTF uh, on this nice day. As I said, we don't get too many of them. I'm a bit into the sun there. That's one mast and that's the other up there for the uh, 60 foot tower. And we've got a stream as well, which is quite interesting. This stream actually runs at the bottom of the property, a mountain stream. And it'll be interesting to see how the earthing uh, is affected by the stream. So some of these wires are going to be dumped in the stream. It's not salt water, obviously. But I think uh, it should uh, improve the overall grounding of this system, which is quite essential for it. Right, there we go. And well, next video will be on the next phase. Thanks for watching.